With your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers. Well, we saw a pretty nice day here on our Friday across the Concha Valley. Plenty of sunshine and those clear conditions have stuck with us tonight and temperatures are already starting to fall ahead of another cold night tonight. A nice weekend ahead of us though with a cold front expected to come through next week bringing some rain shower to the area as we go into the beginning of next week. So there could be some rain chances for us as we go towards the beginning and through much of next week. Temperatures right now in the 30s, 34 in Sterling City, 37 here in San Angelo, 30 down in Roosevelt, 36 in Junction, 40 over in Brady. So we're seeing those temperatures already getting down into the 30s. We're going into the upper 20s tonight for many of our communities, some low 30s here and there, but most of us are going to be in the low 20s with clear conditions overnight tonight. Into tomorrow, we'll warm nicely into the middle 60s for many of our communities, some low 60s outside of St. Angelo. Otherwise, expecting many of us to see plenty of sunshine on our Saturday. Here's what clouds and radar looks like right now across the nation. Not a lot going on here in the Lone Star State. It's over to the east that we're watching this upper level low system that is bringing snow showers to Tennessee, Kentucky, and even as far south as northern Alabama. Seeing some snow showers reported in portions of northern Alabama as this whole upper level low system spins through into the Ohio Valley. Expected to see a few more snow showers into portions of West Virginia and Kentucky and Tennessee as well as the evening goes on here. Things are going to remain quiet over the weekend. It's going to turn active for us as we go into next week. Monday is going to be a nice day, but Tuesday, that's when we see our next cold front swing through the area, and that's going to bring us some rain chances on Tuesday across much of the Concha Valley, otherwise increasing clouds for us through the day on Wednesday. Then we hold on to rain chances into Thursday because we could see another system bring us some more rain here in the Concha Valley as we go to Thursday and Friday. We're still going to hang on to those rain chances as we head towards the end of next work week. Our weekend looks like this for us. If you are planning on getting outside and doing some outdoor activities, maybe getting some exercise in, we're going to see sunny conditions. Temperatures in the 60s for daytime highs on Saturday and Sunday. Hey, another thing to bring you a ray of sunshine to your day is that days are starting to get longer. Daylight hours are starting to increase. Next week, we're going to be at 10 hours and 28 minutes. A month from now, we'll be at 11 hours and 6 minutes of daylight. So our days are starting to increase increase for us here in the Concho Valley. Tonight we get down to 29 clear conditions for our Saturday. We're going to top out near 64 and sunny conditions for us as we go into the next five days here in the Concho Valley. A nice weekend ahead of us on Saturday and Sunday. Cold front swings through Monday night into Tuesday, early Tuesday morning. That's when we could see a chance for some showers. We're going to hang on to that shower chance and those clouds as we go through the rest of the next upcoming work week. We'll be back with more KSAN News right after this.